rate. Also, we continue to explore the fine dining right here in the upstate in our new segment here on 7 News called Let's Eat. Let's get straight to 7 News' Christine Scarpelli. She's traveling to Lawrence this morning to visit Roma Italian restaurant. Mamma mia, it looks so good. Oh, yes, <laughs> it is amazing. Yes, absolutely, Sabila, we have to go. Girls trip, I think that's fantastic. I think everyone at the station is going to want to come here after they try this chicken piccata. But there's a couple other dishes that are really popular here, including going through two pans of lasagna a week. Yvonne Yosef here. We're going to meet him in just a second. Check this out. It's like taking a trip around the world, but we're right here in the city of Lawrence. Beautiful, traditional French patio seating and an incredible Italian menu. Yeah, we'll try this chicken piccata in just a second, but let's go inside Roma Italian restaurant and meet the Yosef family. Jennifer and Yvonne own Roma. The families nicknamed them Shy and Shire, so they let their food do most of the talking. This is a rigatoni pasta. And believe me, by the time you leave, you'll be speaking the language too. We met the first week he was open. Jennifer is from right here in Lawrence, South Carolina. Yvonne is Kurdish, grew up in France, worked in his uncle's pizza shop, and that's where his Italian recipes come from. It has fresh lemon juice, olive oil, garlic, some basil. Basil Jennifer grows fresh for this chicken piccata. It's their new signature dish. And you keep it about 72 hours. We keep it in the sauce before we serve it. He says it locks in the flavor, along with this ingredient, which he says he'll take to his grave. Secret sauce I have for my chicken. So hot and steamy, it fogs up photographer Ryan Goodman's camera lens, garnished with more greens and Parmesan cheese. Now that's a pretty big portion. Yes, uh, that's how we serve it. Wow. Nobody's going home empty. No, you don't go home empty with that. If you can find room, don't miss out on the Roma Martini. It's not like your typical martini. Vodka and peach schnapps. And then we blend it with pineapple juice. In the back, I enjoy what I'm doing. I put my heart in it, and it works. Wow. So flavorful, so warm, and that cheese on top certainly doesn't hurt. Roma right here in Lawrence. We'll see you next time for Let's Eat. Guys, this is amazing. Thank you. Yes, it is so very yummy. Yvonne, you got to tell me, you also have a chicken alfredo, is it, that's really popular? Why? Yes. Uh, it's all about the pasta bi al dente with a good alfredo sauce and the grilled chicken. Oh, we saw that chicken over exactly. and over, made a beautiful same way with that secret sauce you won't yes, tell me about. No. But that Alfredo sauce, so very popular. And Ivan says al dente, but that means just a little hard, not soft Exactly, and mushy. you don't want it too, too soft also. Beautiful. It's got to be al dente flavor. You know what you're doing. I'm so very impressed, this man from Syria originally. <laughs> so, so impressive, guys. Check it out, Lawrence. Uh, yeah, he knows exactly what he's doing. I'm all about the chicken piccata. I know Fred said that he likes the Alfredo, so he's going to have to order that. Uh, yeah, and uh, you know, I love the outdoor dining. Oh, yeah. That is really nice. It reminds me of like a, an Italian cafe. Yeah. <laughs> We've got to visit. Thanks so much, Christine. Appreciate it. Fred? Easter is nearly here, so